So when we think about transport today, there's a lot of kind of pain that we take for granted that we think is normal. Um, like having to <laughs> drive around LA uh, in like three hours of traffic. Um, yeah, and for people that live in LA, I mean, you know, try to get from uh, Pasadena to, you know, El Segundo during rush hour is like, you can fly to, you know, another city faster than you can get to cross town LA. So, and you have to drive the whole way. Uh, unless you're in a Tesla, of course. Our Tesla already uh, does quite well at this, uh, you know, supervised self-driving. So supervised for self, full self-driving is actually working quite well. For, I'm sure there's people in the crowd, you, you're using that, uh, yeah? I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the rubber taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So, yeah, it's kind of how it should be. So like, that would be quite fantastic. Oh, and uh, also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The, the Robovan. The Robovan is, uh, this is a, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people, and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. So this is going <laughs> to, the Robovan is what's going to solve for high density. So if you, if you want to take a sports team somewhere or um, you're looking to, to really get uh, the cost of travel down to, I don't know, five, ten cents a mile, then you can use the Robovan. Some people call it the Robovan, but uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, you know, one of the things that we, we want to do, and you've seen this with the Cybertruck, is we want to change the, the look of the roads. You know, the future should look like the future. So, everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down, and then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Yeah.